Okay, so can you just tell us a little bit about what you guys do about this program that you guys um, are running? Yeah, sure. Uh, our program is uh, run with um, people that are aged, yeah. like young people aged from 16 upwards, really, and, um, and it's about volunteer. And we do, uh, as an organization, we run three programs. Um, one's in schools, but uh, one we're part of is Future one Voices. is Future Voices. Um, and it's people from all like, across Northern Ireland um, can come together and we have weekly workshops and work weekly meetings um, where we can discuss issues like important to ourselves, um, we can discuss issues on uh, religion, on crime, on justice, on abortion, sexuality, media, anything. Um, so it's like an open place for us to talk um, and discuss and have, uh, have fun as well. Um, we have like social events, so um, as well as doing like... Yeah, yeah. yeah, Christmas, we have like a Christmas um, social event coming up and we do residentials as well, so like usually um, from like the right three times a year, isn't it? Three yeah. times a year um, we would go out and have a residential and we would do some workshops and um, have some fun activities to do. Yeah. And we try and uh, like bring, bring this back to like uh, Northern Ireland society, um, we try and use this instead of just talking amongst ourselves, um, which is great, um, but we try and like use that outside as well to maybe um, we sort of like we can send off things that we discuss to uh, like government departments, or we can uh, use that in, like, even in, like our loser friend group groups in a more informal way, um, like influence them. So um, that's probably not ever everything we do. But if you have more questions, we can answer them. That's just it, very loosely. Uh, so I'm just wondering what age group you guys are mostly. Um, we are only 18 and Sapphire's. I'm 17. 17, but uh, we work from people that are aged 16. And, and just this particular program, at Future Voices, we work with people that are 16, uh, to about 25. Um, but we have this other program that we run, which where we, we work with um, people in, that are like uh, in, school. in school. So like we're talking about uh, 14, 14, 14, or 14, 15, and uh, okay. 17. Do you guys have any questions? Then we have like a sport program which we um, pick up to 40 participants each year which we... Um, it's it's uh, another, another one of the programs we run is a, a spirit skillet, the Explore program which is uh, 40 participants from across Northern Ireland out of thousands go overseas for two weeks. And they're 16 to 19 years yeah. old. So uh, it, in the our main like uh, group of people would be about sixteen to uh, to twenty five would be the main group, but we of people we work with really. Do you guys have any questions about that? Yeah, go ahead. Um, what age group Um, but also, what was the other question? Um, the topics. 
topics. Uh, yeah, um, well, there's we have a future voices committee, and um, they can it's like elected um, once a year, and they can decide some of the topics. But as well, um, it's just we have like an active group of members of maybe like uh, over a hundred, and if people from that group wanted just to put an entry that they feel strongly about at that time, they can um, they can do that. So if there's maybe someone who uh, is that uh, religion is important, um, it's not religion, or if someone maybe feels that the topic of abortion, which is a big issue in Northern Ireland at the minute, um, if they feel that that's important and they have something they want to discuss on that, they can format uh, a workshop on that and they can plan that with someone else. Okay. Are you two like the main people of this? You mean the leaders? Yeah, the leaders, organizers, organizers. Ish. Um, I'm on the committee for Future Voices, um, um, and Sapphire is a member. A volunteer. And Sapphire is volunteer, and Sapphire is just off the Explore program as well. So Sapphire knows all about that program as well. Um, but we're like uh, we're both volunteers. Um, uh, we're not leaders. Or, um, there isn't really uh, any clear leaders, which is one of the good things I suppose about it. Um, Everyone like has equal influence in the running of it. Um, the committee is just there to do some things that have to be done, really. But um, everyone has an equal say and can put forward things equally. So um, we are just two volunteers that um, that like are part of many, really. What were some challenges that you faced um, as you were starting up with your program? And how did you overcome these challenges? Um, I think like, uh, one of the big challenges we face is sensitivity over certain issues. Um, we do uh, still talk about, because uh, of the context of Northern Ireland and the division between Catholics and Protestants, uh, that's us, still sometimes... Sorry, can it, you uh, explain that to us? Because a lot of us are not really aware of some of the religious issues that are going on, and why are these topics sensitive among the people living in the area? Sure. Well, um, in Northern Ireland, there is Catholics and Protestants, which is two different religions, and um, there's a lot of conflict between these religions, the, these two religions in Northern Ireland, because of the troubles back in history. Um, um, like what we do is like we try to make everyone come together and like get everyone to like work together yeah. and like. Do workshops and like make everyone like challenge one another just to like so everyone can come equal and make the return to better place. Yeah, like the troubles um where like happened started off in maybe the late sixties and like maybe some people said ended and maybe like the two in nineteen ninety eight um with the signing of what was called the Good Friday Agreement um but like there are still like significant tensions between uh, both communities which are the two major religions um and so. Uh, schools are still segregated between uh, you're either educated as a Catholic or you're educated as a Protestant. So you're not. Um, there's very few schools that are integrated. Um, a very, very, very small minority of the population of the schools are integrated in both Catholic and Protestants. So um, and there's big. Uh, there's still your divisions with peaceful walls. So uh, parts of the city are, are physically divided by maybe uh, 30, 40 foot walls between Catholics and Protestant sides. Um, and a lot of it's also to do with um, nationality, whether you see yourself as Irish or British. Um, so there is like that historical background to it, and that's still one of the problems that we would maybe try and overcome because as an organisation, we try and challenge each other a lot, and we try and challenge each other's views on maybe why or why is that good. Um, but that sometimes there's a border of when you're challenging someone and whenever you're um, maybe trying not to insult their, them or offend them. So that was one of the biggest problems, um, but we have others as well, like um, trying to make sure that everyone is included and trying to always make sure that we have a balance of opinions, that um, we're constantly trying to um, make sure that everyone from the community and everyone from society is being heard. That's always a big problem. Do you have any issues in the meetings where it gets a little heated and people start to lose control and what do you do about that? Well, um, well, sometimes when we have our workshops, there are some people that would like want to put their view across, and they're like really strong about it, and this would like cause a lot of like arguments on each side. And then, but it's pretty good though because like we get to hear from like views, like views and opinions from like each side. But yeah, sometimes it's just like really tense in our workshops. Yeah, um, it wouldn't stop like 
Yeah. Usually it wouldn't stop anyone from like falling out or nothing because like we're all we're all get on. Yeah. Get really well. Um, I think well, you had a residential to begin with, and um, I want to say she used to keep up with the death penalty and what people think of the death penalty. Um, and that pretty heated because uh, some people strongly agree, some people strongly disagree. Um, and you know it gets out of hand sometimes whenever you know we're trying to do these like well, calm down. But um, usually as a group, um, from like the procedures we put in at the start of the year, of you know, everyone knows. Uh, like if you like, we do a lot of background work, making sure everyone feels comfortable, challenging each other, and making sure that everyone knows if you check if it needed. And if like there is struggle, yes, yeah, they'll still be friends, and it'll just check the fuck job, and it'll just stay within there. You can maybe find one outside, but it won't get personal outside, and it won't get, um, it won't get out. Like you can be challenged a lot, but you won't like fall out with each other, which is something that um, I think we're quite good at as an organisation. And do you have any um, teachers that are constantly supporting you, giving you the guidance that you need, helping you in any challenges that you face? Well, we kind of really help each other, don't we? Like, um, well, if we like have any problems or anything, like we would just like tell them all. Um, but there is like no really like big leaders, so we don't really like um, we wouldn't really go to one person for a problem. We would just go to, like each other if we had any problems and we'd sort them out among us, among one another. Yeah. Like um, we have like uh, some members of staff in the organisation that uh, are paid members of staff, um, who help to voice this. But probably working in school, there will be a designated teacher there that we can have contact with. So when when we are working in schools, we'll have a teacher um at each school, but it won't be it'll be different for each school really. Okay. Question. Are the meetings open to the public or is it just like? You have to get invited to go to the meeting. Well, um, anyone can come like from the age range really, but like we do, we do encourage like an, like anyone to come into our workshops because like we want like as much people as we can to like have the experience of our workshops. Yeah, yeah but that is a problem. Like um, that's something that we're trying to change. Um, it is all of our workshops are open to the public. Um, but at the minute, like it's been hard to get members outside of Future Voices to come in. Um, which I suppose like, it's hard because it's great if we can discuss things as young people. We need to bring that to the public, but um, we're trying to like keep pushing that. It's hard just with funding to try and get ways of maybe get outside venues that the public comes to and know of. But yeah, that's like yeah, that's something that we're really trying to do a lot more this year. So the ones being part of Future Voices are they the ones that did the school program before? Like is it, it? It's like a continuation, or is it something different? Um, they are different, but in a way they're all linked. Um, people that do the schools program um, can maybe then go on to do, to, do, to be a member of Future Voices, and likewise, um, all three programs, like our schools program. If you, a lot of the people will maybe do the schools program at age fourteen, and then maybe at age eighteen, uh, apply for the Explore program and do the Explore program, and then after Explore. At maybe, at maybe still age 18, um, will then come go on to Future Voices. So they can all like, get together, but again, like, they don't have to. Um, you can just do the school program and then stop, or like that, you can just go straight into Future Voices um, and whatever. So um, they all can link in. And most of ours would, and most of our um, range would link in from the Explore program. Uh, that's where like most of our participants come from, with the straight off the Explore program. Yeah, so really, like anyone can come out, like and enter a group, but like most of our members would be from like had ex per, per, like previous experience, but we do really like new new people coming in as well. We try to encourage it, too, but like it's really hard to hold funding. So how do you uh, promote and how do you let's just say advertise or let people know of the group? Do you guys have a Facebook account set up or how do you yeah. do it? Yeah, uh, we a lot of things to use. Uh, social media, um, so yeah, we use Facebook a lot, we have Twitter, um, so those are our two main forums, and because, any because they're cheap, um, it doesn't take any any money to uh, run a Facebook page, or it doesn't take any money to run a Twitter account, um, but we also like rely a lot on word of mouth, and because we've been around now as an organisation for uh, 25 years this year, um, a lot of uh, what we do is run by word of mouth, and people know um, of maybe friends and friends of friends um, can know of us. Um, 
again, uh, like we do utilize the media and um, we do try the media coverage whenever we, do, we can. Um, but again, it's just with funding. Uh, we can't really put out uh, newspaper ads all the time uh, because that's not financially possible. Um, but social media would be our, uh, our biggest form, really. Um, so we really like to be able to somehow contribute to all the greatness that you are doing. We think you guys are an incredible group of people. Uh, can I have your Twitter handle so that, because we're actually, some of us are in grade 7, some of us are in grade 8, and we use Twitter a lot, and we want to be able to share with you guys some of the things that we're learning and also learn from you and what you're doing and use you as our models of what good leadership is all about. You guys are absolutely incredible. So can you please share your Twitter handle with us and can we please follow you and tweet with you and hopefully learn from you? Sure. Um, um, yeah. uh, one second because uh, I really should know this but I don't know what Twitter off the top of my head. I don't know what the exact what month <laughs> is. Um, Uh, our Facebook anyway is just spared up NSK and Trust. Um, if you want to go on that, but the Twitter, uh, we're getting up now. Uh, it's just, it's, yeah, it's not. Yeah. It's, um, can you see? So we at Signs and Future Voices. It's at Future Voices. <laughs> it's all one word. They can type that. it, can't they? Can they can. you type it? You can type it in the discussion. Okay. Okay. Oh yes, you'll do that. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's good. Can you guys take a picture of this? Yeah. So we have it. Ah. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. can you take a picture with our iPad so we have it in the class and we can follow them on Twitter? Yes. That's the message. That's done. Questions you guys have? No. Yes. Um, when when you're like in the meeting and stuff, what happens if like there's like a like a kind of not like a disagreement, but you know if there's like an issue at the workshops? So you repeat that again. Um. So the question is, what do you do? I think we we I talked think a little a bit about with, it. Like the workshops, if you're having problems with the people in the workshops. Yeah. What you guys do, and I think you guys touched on it a little bit. We were discussing how you deal with people getting heated and uh, arguments starting. So I think the question is, what do you do when some of the workshops get out of hand? How do you handle it? I can um, just repeat what you guys said already. So I suppose, like, um, if the worst case scenario were to happen. We have like, procedures in place where we would like remove someone, and uh, we do that with schools. If um, it got like really like not even heated, if it got uh, completely out of control, we would have to remove someone from the room. Um, and we have teachers' permission to do that when we work with schools. Um, but that's never had to happen within one of our meetings. Um, but we usually um, we usually can like intervene at like an appropriate time because there there will always be two facilitators uh, for a workshop who will be like who will be running that workshop, um, and so they can as well as the rest of the Future Voices members, um, they can keep an eye on that and if they feel it's appropriate to intervene at a time and say uh, we'll end this discussion here or carry this on outside or if this discussion is uh, inappropriate or cross the line they can say that um, and so Future Voices members just have to respect that and they have to then know that that's when you cut off and you can't say anything more then um, and it, likewise if, it, it's, if there is a problem that um, it's has been left in workshop. If we've left it when it's been uh, very heated, we can come back to that later with maybe a one on one with the people. Uh, we can maybe like one of the facilitators or one of the committee members or whoever, never really, um, can maybe just sit down with them and discuss that issue if it is really important. 
that's all part of our contract is sort of here too, which everyone would have to follow, but if like no one doesn't follow it properly or like something does get out of hand, we would remove it. Anyone else? Yes, Vernon. Um, has like has the amount of people that have been in your group like has that ever been a problem? Like a shortage of people there? or too many people? Do you ever have too many or too little people to? Do you have a ratio of people you need for the meeting? Um, it's sometimes it's a problem because um people because people that we work with are maybe at school or at university so um. It's really hard for yeah. everyone to get together. It's hard for everyone to get together sometimes. And um, although we like have certain uh, members, like they become make it to every workshop. So um, that's a problem sometimes. But again, it's also a problem sometimes. There's too many. Uh, we weren't expecting so many people to come to a workshop, and uh, then loads turn up. Maybe twenty or thirty turn up to a workshop. Then uh, we're stuck, and we're in the office, which is smaller. Um, we we'll have to organise an outside venue quicker. Um, so it's. Basically. Go ahead. Usually we would try to get numbers uh, beforehand, when, which will help us like find out how many people there is going. But sometimes it yeah it can be an issue. But some people would say they were going, some people they weren't, which were kind of like the sort yeah. of the workshops. But overall, we like we never have a problem with uh, numbers like to maintain the organisation. We have like over a hundred uh, members um, that are part of Future Voices, um, but it's. Again, people come in and people leave future voices, but then can come back because um, with people's schedules. Um, but I mean, never have too level to run this organisation. It's just maybe for individual day or individual workshops would be the only problem. We also like um, we would have one like two Fridays every month. So then, um, like when it's night with like the weekends which people could come up, like travel from like all parts of Northern Ireland, so like we'd make sure that everyone could get up on like the weekends as well. And you should, and we would have walk through the week, which is a Wednesday. So it would go from like Friday, then a Wednesday, then a Friday, then a Wednesday. So everyone would have a chance to come down. Thank you so much for your time guys. We really, really appreciate it. Um, I just added you guys to my class Twitter and I know that you'll be added to a few other class Twitter accounts and we will continue to follow you, learn from you and hopefully grow with you. Keep up the great work. You are truly the heroes of the 21st century. So please keep it up and uh, you guys need to get like a Superman or Spider-Man <laughs> or something. Um, but thank you, thank you so much. I am in awe of you guys. You are incredible. I can't begin to say how inspirational we feel right now. Thank you guys. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you very much for having a time. We'll thank be in you. touch. We'll be in touch for sure. We'll be bugging you guys thank nonstop you. now. Bye. Thank you. Thank you, thank you guys. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye